Are you someone that struggles with high fasting blood sugar levels? Or perhaps you might be thinking that you're potentially becoming diabetic. In this video, what I'm gonna do is look at a particular B vitamin known as biotin and how it may specifically address high fasting blood sugar levels and potentially lower blood sugar levels by up to 43%. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas. I'm the founder of Ergogenic Health. And my mission is to bring you the most cutting edge health information that you'll struggle to find on Google. So please, if you're brand new here, hit that subscribe button down below and leave a comment if you have any questions around this video as I do my best to respond to each and every single one. So in this video, what we will do is take a look at how biotin can potentially act as a potent anti-diabetic B vitamin, just like many of the other B vitamins that help with protein metabolism, fat metabolism, carbohydrate metabolism. We have one in particular known as biotin or vitamin B7. So the question is, what is biotin? Well, biotin is a water soluble B vitamin that is generally classified and considered one of the B vitamins in the B complex vitamin suite. After its initial discovery in 1927, 40 years of additional research was required to unequivocally establish biotin as a vitamin. So you can see the different B vitamins here, vitamin B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, B7, B9, B12. I've spoken about a derivative of vitamin B1 before, TTFD. If you haven't already checked that out, do so. Then we have the you know biotin, which is our main focus for this video. Taking a look at some of the basic functions of biotin uh, in the body. To put simply, biotin essentially transforms and helps our bodies convert nutrients from food into energy. So it helps to actually make fatty acids and glucose. One of the key aspects of biotin is the ability to actually help to increase ATP. And this is done so with the help of other B vitamins in the body. So before we get into how biotin works and what it does to address uh, high fasting glucose, one thing you really need to take notice of is the depletion of biotin that you must know about that can occur in the human body. And specifically what I'm gonna look at here is how biotin is enriched in egg yolk while its binding partner, avidin, is found in the egg white. So avidin is a glycoprotein that can actually bind four molecules of biotin. So what we need to do here is be cautious of consuming too many egg whites or uncooked egg whites as that can actually deplete biotin levels over time. How does biotin work against diabetes or how does it help to regulate blood sugar levels? Overt biotin deficiency can cause abnormalities in glucose regulation in humans. This is well established in the literature. Any sort of biotin deficiency with or without other B vitamin deficiencies can cause blood sugar dysregulation. One early human study reported lower serum biotin concentration in 43 patients with type 2 diabetes compared to 64 non-diabetic control subjects, as well as an inverse relationship between fasting blood glucose and biotin concentrations. In a small randomized placebo-controlled intervention study, in 28 patients with type 2 diabetes, daily supplementation with 9 milligrams nine milligrams, not micrograms, nine milligrams of biotin for one month resulted in a mean 45% decrease in fasting blood glucose concentrations. Now this is phenomenal. Obviously it's a small study population, small sample size. It was done in type two diabetics, but if we look at most of the literature, it sort of makes sense that biotin is a powerful weapon against high fasting blood glucose levels. And oftentimes you'll see biotin mentioned mostly for hair, skin and nails, which it does a good job at. But what we can see here is that super high dose biotin can you know, dramatically help with blood sugar regulation. Now looking at the dosage itself, obviously nine milligrams is quite a high dose. Most of the time, you know, you might see one to three milligrams. Some supplements contain a little bit more, but obviously nine milligrams is quite high. Now this study obviously was titled Therapeutic Evaluation of the Effect of Biotin on Hyperglycemia in Patients with Non-Insulin Dependent diabetes mellitus. So now you're probably wondering about toxicity. Well, biotin toxicity is actually not known to be you know, very well established. In fact, 
people without disorders of biotin metabolism, doses of up to five milligrams per day for two years were not associated with adverse effects. And oral biotin supplementation has been well tolerated in doses of up to 200 milligrams per day, nearly 7,000 times the adequate intake in people with hereditary disorders of biotin metabolism. In addition, daily supplementation with a highly concentrated formulation of biotin, 100 to 600 milligrams of, for several months was also found to be well tolerated in individuals with progressive multiple sclerosis. So dosage really matters. Obviously higher doses is gonna lead to deficiencies in other B vitamins. So we gotta be very careful that we're not super saturating the body with one particular B vitamin, which can then consequently deplete other cofactors. In this situation, I think super high dose biotin for a long period of time without sufficient choline may lead to fatty liver. That's just a suspicion. That's not. So ultimately what we can see here is that we've got, you know, a powerful modality, something simple like vitamin B7 biotin to help with blood sugar management. And then obviously there are many other aspects to blood sugar control, not just taking supplements. We need to prioritize protein first, you know, get sufficient amounts of fiber and obviously keep our lifestyle factors in check, such as stress management, sleep. Bear in mind, one single night of sleep deprivation can lead to insulin resistance the next day. If you found this video interesting or helpful, please do like the video. It does help support and grow my channel so I can continue delivering cutting edge health information uh, that you guys will struggle to find on Google. So thanks everyone for tuning in. I'm super pumped and excited to see you for the next video.